<clears throat> Sorry I'm late class, I was in the loo. The history of the sweater vest. Sweater vests originated in my very humble abode. In 1907, Michigan football players chopped off their sleeves and became fashion icons. However, fast forward 100 years because life obviously didn't matter before I was born. 2020, the year of a global pandemic. The only good thing that came out of 2020's ass was the resurgence of the sweater vest. Now dominated by 12-year-old Pinterest girls, sweater vests are changing the scene of fashion. However, many people ask me, oh mighty one, how can you wear a sweater vest? Now, that is where I come in. Introducing Jessica. For look number one, we are starting off basic and simple, folks. This is the most common way to wear a sweater vest, or at least like from what I've seen. But just layer a white tee over a pleated skirt and pop on that sweater vest. So, you know, Jessica is just your typical Pinterest girl. She's cute, sweet, and definitely very trendy. But honestly, like you can never go wrong with just a pleated skirt. But next up, we have Vivian. I honestly don't even know where I'm coming up with these names or even like why I'm doing this. But you know, Vivian here is a little emo, a little badass, you know. She knows what she wants and is not afraid to call you out. Everyone honestly just like needs to have a friend like Vivian. But you can also just wear sweater vests with jeans. I honestly like pairing the baggy sweater vest with the baggy jeans. I think it creates like a very chill and laid back look. But the one tip I would have for you guys is just like make sure your sweater vest, like the armholes aren't too big. Because for me, they were like super big and you can always like see my bra when I was wearing, like if I didn't layer anything underneath. So just like, you know, just make sure. But if you want to, you can also just layer the white tee underneath. I am in love with how androgynous sweater vests are. I think that this like tomboy vibe is a really nice change of pace for me. Damn, look at that transition. I'm sorry, literally every single time I do a transition, I had to point it out. I'm sorry guys. Anyways, say hello to Margo. I honestly love the name Margo, maybe just because I would sell my literal soul to be Margo Robbie, but Margo is just honestly just such a pretty name. Anyways, Margot is one of the sweetest people in the world, but they definitely are a workaholic. She also needs to dress really business casual in case of any emergencies. But for this look, I just layered a white button down underneath the sweater vest and cashed it up with some jeans. I think like the white button down really changes it up from like a normal basic tee, you know? Also, take a shot every time I say layer in this video. Actually don't, because I don't wanna be responsible for like the medical bills of a stomach pumping. <laughs> But I left the cuff of the sleeves undone for like a more messy look, but if you want to polish it up, you can also roll up the sleeves. Marco is always looking effortlessly chic. Continuing with this chic look, try cropping your sweater vest by tucking in and pairing it with some white trousers. It would honestly be so much easier if I just had like a smaller sweater vest, but you know, I got mine from my dad and so we just gotta work with what we got here. But I just layered a collar shirt underneath and I named this look Kendall because this girl is just kind of pretentious, you know? <laughs> My elementary school bully was named Kendall. Hi Kendall if you're watching this, but I still remember the time you pulled my hair on the playground. I was literally just hanging upside down on the monkey bars, minding on my own business before you came and pulled on my pigtails. It was honestly a very traumatizing moment. Anyways, this look is definitely a lot more put together and perfect for any business casual event. Okay, this look is a little out there, but hear me out. I layered a yellow long sleeve for like a pop of color. Originally, I paired it with this black skirt, but I didn't really like how it looked. So I switched it out for some jeans, but the wash wasn't quite right. So I finally settled on a pair of dark wash mom jeans. This might look hideous to some people. I'm not even sure if I quite vibe with it, but you know what? Fashion is all about experimenting. I do like how colorful it is. I think it gives off a very big like grandpa vibe. So I'm naming this one Albert. I honestly do feel like a very cool and hip grandpa. Like I'm the type of grandpa that would get famous on TikTok, okay? Do any of you guys know what TikTok dance I'm doing? I literally practiced this dance for like a week straight and I finally got it and I was so happy. Oh, I'm such a loser.
A big tip I recommend is doing a monochrome look underneath your sweater vest. For example, in the other looks, I did like all white or all black, but now I'm gonna try this tan look. I am in love with this look. I feel like it's something like a French boy would wear or something. I don't know, is that just me? But this outfit is definitely serving some killer vibes. I love the androgyny, like, oh my God. The trousers, the Converse, the baggy sweater vest. Chef's kiss, immaculate vibes all there amazing 10 out of 10. i feel like the kind of person that would wear this is like a snobby private school boy that like reads a lot of books and thinks he knows everything about life kind of like harden from after did any of you guys watch that movie it was like an okay movie it wasn't that good anyways but we're naming this outfit marcus because you know i feel like i don't know why i'm so bad at naming anyways if you don't have any collared shirts to layer under, you can always just try a regular t-shirt, but change things up by making it like a collared t-shirt. So I layered this blue baby tee with some low rise jeans. The jeans were a little big, so I did the shoelace hack to make the pants fit better. But for this look, just make sure to crop your sweater vest to the length so just a strip of your stomach is showing. I think that that really flatters the low rise jeans and just ties the whole look together. The back of the outfit is literally a whole mess, but you know, we'll just ignore that for now because shh. Anyways, I also just threw on some Converse and whenever I wear Converse with low rise jeans, I feel like Elena Gilbert. So I'm just gonna name this look the Elena. Okay, so now we are really packing on the layers. I am sweating my balls off and I really don't wanna put a sweater or vest on, but I'll do it for you guys. <sighs> I'm naming this look RJ or Rory Jr. Not sure why, really don't know, please don't ask me. <laughs> but for those chilly winter days, try layering your sweater vest over a hoodie. I think this only works with like a pattern or color sweater vest or it'll just like blend into the hoodie, you know? But I think that it looks really cool and add some pattern to your hoodie. And honestly, it just looks like a whole different sweater. But I just threw my hair in a bun and paired it off with a brown bag. I am so hot, I am literally using my Spindrift can to cool off. I also just put on a white hoodie for shits and giggles, but you know, I don't really like how it looks, so yeah, we're not gonna spend too much time on it. If you don't have collared shirts or regular shirts, try turtlenecks! Turtlenecks are always my go-to in the fall and winter, like literally, that's the only thing I wore last year but this look gave off some major Gossip Girl vibes, so I'm naming her Blair. Blair is a high-key bitch, but everyone still wants to be friends with her for some reason. I just layered a turtleneck underneath and paired it with this white skirt. Do we see the monochrome? Anyways, for this look, I didn't bother tucking the sweater vest in and just left it out for like a 90s, 2000s feel. A white headband also would be super cute with this look. So I also tried pairing like the turtleneck thing with a pattern skirt, but I feel like the patterns were just like a bit overwhelming, a bit too much. So instead I just threw on some flare jeans and I am obsessed with this look. I don't even know what to call her. Like I'm trying to think of some really cool name, like, ooh, maybe Astrid. Oh my God. Crazy Rich Asians, Astrid is literally like life goals. She is gorgeous. She is rich. She is beautiful. She is the nicest person in the world. Oh, Gemma Chan, I love you. Um, but I think like the flare jeans and the turtleneck gives it like a very retro look, like a 70s feel almost. Lastly, we have Madison. I have like literally encountered so many different Madisons in my life and each and every single one of them have like completely different personalities. Like it's crazy how polar opposite all the Madisons I've met are. But anyways, this look is perfect for the fall. I threw on some white jeans and a leather jacket. The first leather jacket was darker, but I didn't really like it. So I put on a lighter one, but looking back, I feel like the darker one was better. I don't know, what do you guys think? But this outfit definitely gives me like mom vibes. It reminds me of like Gilmore Girls for some reason. I have no idea why. I literally never even watched that show, but it just gives off like that vibe, you know? But that wraps up 10 ways to wear a sweater vest and I am sweating my balls off. Enjoy this clip of me realizing I have major bald spots and of my hair whips. <laughs>
thank you guys so much for watching i really hope that you guys enjoy this video and watch me sweat for like the last like 15 minutes <sighs> anything for you guys um but if you guys like this video please like comment and subscribe and yeah if you guys have any video ideas that you guys want me to do put them down in the comment section down below but i think that that's all i have for today so thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you guys next time bye Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I want to get out of this sweater fast and stop sweating.